Hi, welcome back to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. Today we are looking at solving quadratics with complex roots. So previously with solving quadratics, you've only been able to um, find solutions and factors and roots as long as they have been real. And you looked at something on the video that we had before on looking at the discriminant of a quadratic so that you could determine the nature of the roots. Well, once you found that um, the roots could be complex, we can actually go on and use um, I to help us to find those complex roots. Let's take a look at this example. We've got x squared plus 4x plus 13 equals 0. And if you were asked to solve this, your first thought would be to look for factors. And then when you can see that it doesn't factorize, you would go ahead and do either completing the square or the quadratic formula. Now, most people go straight for quadratic formula. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So we get x equals minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 13 all over 2, just using that b squared minus 4ac stuff. So then if we carry on with that, we get minus 4 plus or minus, that square root becomes the square root of negative 36 all over 2. Now expanding on that, we can sort out this third here. So minus 4 plus or minus the square root of this is going to be the same as the square root of 36 times negative 1 all over 2. And then I'm going to come up here to fit in the rest of the working. So we've got minus 4 plus or minus. So that becomes the square root of 36 times the square root of minus 1. Well, the square root of 36 is just 6 and the square root of minus 1 is i all over 2. Now we can divide through by that 2. So we get negative 2 plus or minus 3i. And there you can see um, where we come out with the two roots as being the conjugate pairs. So we've got minus 2 plus 3i and minus 2 minus 3i. And um, roots of equations like this, roots of polynomials, always come out in conjugate pairs like this. Now these two are the roots. And we also often need to think about what it means when um, we're talking about factors. Now, just the same as when you found the roots of a quadratic, you could also then straight away say what the factors were. It's the same um, here when we've got complex roots. The factors would then be x minus the root. So x minus negative 2 plus 3i is a factor, and so is x minus negative 2 minus 3i. So from those roots, we were able to write down those two factors. And if you multiplied those two factors together, you would end up with x squared plus 4x plus 13 equals 0, um, as we started with. Uh, now, I'll just simplify that a little bit. So, of course, if we are going to do x minus those things, we get x plus 2 minus 3i is a factor, and x plus 2 plus 3i is the other factor. So here's an example of another way we might need to approach this, is if we're looking for factors, we can first find the, those complex roots and then put them into factor form. So x squared minus 2x plus 4 doesn't factorize with real numbers. So we need to find those roots first of all. So here's the working out to get down to those roots, similar to what you just saw on the previous example. And you can pause the video and have a look through those solutions there. But once we've got the roots, then we can put it into factorized form. So if we want to factorize x squared minus 2x plus 4, we do x minus 1 of the roots multiplied by x minus the other root would give us the equation we started off with, but in factorized form. So here we've got x minus the first root, x minus the second root, in brackets multiplied together is equal to 0.